everybody obey the papaya uh, back at you again with another youtube video so this youtube video is going to be a vod review so we're going to do a vod review on uh one person on my stream they generously donated uh twenty dollars um and they asked for a vod review there's no money incentive or anything like that to get a vod review it's just about time i found it tough to make overall videos currently a lot of things kind of going on i found gameplay videos not to be that entertaining tips and tricks are kind of hard to come by once you start sharing a lot of the tips and tricks so i was trying to find out what can i do you know what kind of videos can we do especially when we're reaching up to 1000 subs right i want to try and like think of some new type of things to do um but uh, i appreciate it to uh i think his name was law um i think it was law I can't see the name because the streamer mode enabled, but I appreciate it a lot. But let's just get straight into the VOD review, right? Um, so anytime you want to do a VOD review, uh, first off, you can go into my Discord. I have exclamation, uh, exclamation. I think it's called hashtag VODs. Inside there, you can post any type of VOD clips. If I'm going to do like a small little audit, take a look at your profile really quick. You can always go and post something there and I can take a look at it, provide some tips. Some things that, you know, if you're curious, I, I can I can try and provide up to the best of my ability. But right now we got uh, Law. We wanted He wanted to see what his Fey is like and things that he could do to improve on his Fey. So right here we got him. 1200 MMR. I think that's a gold player, right? Somewhere around gold. Um, 1200 MMR. PlayStation player wanting to get a Fey out there. I recommend Fey for solo carrying um, in low elo because of her insane bursts her she has really good cc that a lot of low elo players don't understand or know how to really punish properly she has consistent damage very easy to farm very easy to play play safe even with no escape right has some pretty simple build paths so i highly recommend her for carrying out of gold getting into the masters at elo even um and we'll take a look at the build over here, but let's let's understand that when we come into a, a game, we want to take a look at what the enemy comp is, right? And it could be tough. We don't know if he was first pick. I don't know if there's an order that's shown here, except for mid and mid, you know, jungle, jungle, and so on. But let's take a let's say that she he was last pick. Is is Faye a good person in this pick, right? So we got the Kira right here. Kira most likely gonna build cleanse, which you can see here. So that's something to worry about. Decker can also jump out of Faye, uh, but, you know, if she builds a Reclamation, then we have a problem. She didn't, so that's good for them. Um, uh, what's his name? Iggy. Iggy's probably going to go Stasis. Uh, instead, he went Obelisk. Even better for Faye. Uh, other than that, what's Iggy going to do besides Blink, right? So really easy to gank, really easy to set up. Crunch. If Crunch uses his dash on you, you can throw an ult out. The chance of him getting another dash in time is relatively low. Uh, and they get to punish him for it. Same with Grux. The dash isn't that far distance. He's pretty, you know, keeps keeps him stuck uh, on you. He's not going to really get out of it. Pretty good to go for a fate ult here. Uh, apply some slows. The Crunch, who is the jungler, is someone to worry about, though, because he's going to have a very easy time ganking. So that's something to overall consider that when you are, you know, if it's going to be a Chimera, if it's going to be a Crunch, if it's going to be a Zarus level 6, you need to consider those things when you do play Faye, right? Because she doesn't have a good escape. A lot of times with Faye, I like to just ward my back end and just farm all, all day. Farm and throw rotations. Farm and throw rotations. I just ward my backside, my back left. That's what I like to do with Faye. Um, and it looks like he has good farm. And we'll, we'll just see how it looks like in game. Um, let's take a quick look at user. I don't know. We can't see the name directly. Let's just take a quick look at the Faye gameplay here. Really good average CS per minute, I would say. Uh, let's see the total total wards placed. Very good, 13 average. Uh, highest 38, that's absolutely insane. Um, damage dealt to heroes on average 23. Not necessarily too bad. I would like to see 30K overall, like as you, as you, you know, as long as you can see your damage is going up as you, as you start practicing more. Um, but overall, some pretty nice stats uh, to, to start off with. Um, so and then of course you want to consider your teammates, but at the same time you don't want to consider your teammates, right? All right, let's take a look at let's cancel the website. So I'm gonna have a notepad and I'm gonna try to write to it. I don't know, you know, this is my first few times. I'm still gotta learn how to do this stuff, right? Um, 
I'm going to try and write into it so that way I can try and, you know, give some notes, some explanations. So let's get straight into it by watching the Fey. All right, so from straight off, you can see got Sorcerer's Crest, which is fine. Codex is fine. Getting a rotation straight to lane. Um, and I mean, if you want to try hard and whatnot, you know, this is fine. I do this too. But a lot of the times, it's nice to try and, uh, can I get a free hero chase? Wait, drone. I like to kind of either sit here to watch any chance of invade, right? Or I like to come and sit here for any other chance to invade or something, right? Like, that's if you really want to try hard and, like, really pay attention to it, right? So, I mean, you can try and poke if you really want to get, you know, pretty up, you know, you know, but... They're done. They're nothing to gain. If anything, you're gonna get your your stacks on your uh, your sorcerer's crest. If you really want to go go heavy into it, right? So what did he level up first? RMB first is pretty nice. That's gonna allow you clear. Uh, I don't really. I personally don't care about poking my Iggy except for like my enemy laner, unless it's to stack my crest on us at this point. The chance of KP early game is relatively low, but we gotta consider low elo, right? Low elo is not going to really know how to properly reset. But I still would go RMB first. I want to get my level 2 first is basically what my goal is right now. So this was a little bit of a failure here where he should have waited for them to converge and throw it towards center. That way he can have all, all minions, right, getting hit by that. And I would I would burst this down. Especially he has a turret. Oh, two turrets even, right? And if he has uh, his turrets relatively close, try to combine the turrets in the RMB. Because those are 5 gold. I think per turret, right? And it helps out with that. But he's gonna have faster clear now, so that's gonna kinda suck. If I was here right now, I'd just back off, right? I don't wanna take too much damage because I just you know, I'm gonna be squishy. I wanna stay in lane and try to beat him for level two. And also by taking these minions and pushing him closer, what that's gonna allow me to do, right, is he is gonna have to be a lot closer to me. So let's see what she does. All right here, and she's taking it to this side of the map. That's a really good time good spot. You wanna take it to this side of the map because you're gonna allow for a lot of space. And then you can kind of go into fog wall to let him de aggro. But you got to remember, if you take him too far out, if you take him right here, minions are going to walk right past. You don't want to do that. You want to time it. Let's see what happens here. Good. She's bringing it back. I would only kill one. I think it was it a range minion. Range minions die 100%. Melee minion, you can kite it and take very minimal damage. And she just, I don't know if he got that one, but. It's not really going to freeze. Maybe ever so slight of a little bias. Yeah, so a little bit of bias here. Right now, this Iggy did a weird rotation here. I'd be spamming my pings. This is a little bit weird. And I would be pushing this wave out ASAP right now. This is a, one of the stupidest things I've ever seen uh, someone do right now. He's going to miss level 2. I would push this wave instantly. I might even, at this point, if I was to see this as a Fey, I might even level up my Q. just to put, I mean, Not because I know that he's not there, but he's not even on the map. If he's not even here... I honestly would level up my Q. I would take the gamble, level up my Q, and just push this wave up as soon as I can. Literally, just push it. Yeah, she's pushing it. Push, 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 push. Once the Iggy's over there and I can see him on the map, I'm just going to say, go send him off over here. If I want, now, now, right now, right, I got this entire wave here. Another wave, which you can see here, is going to come and attack this wave. It's going to be frozen. I'm not going to gain much, necessarily, but what I want to do here is I want to look at my left lane, which I can see on the map, is pushed up. Now, do I look for rotation? No. Murdoch is low HP. Argus is pretty good, but I don't trust them. I do not trust my teammates at this elo specifically even. So I will ignore this. Now, what I would do with the Fey is I'll come up to these minions and I'll push this wave again. I'll come here and I'll kill... Well, so one thing actually... This is actually a play that... This is a phenomenal play. I did not think about this play. This is actually very smart. And this is something that, yes, you should think of. What she did here is because he saw the, the Iggy over there, plus the Chimera saw him after, because he saw the Iggy was on the right side, he comes here. Granted, I wouldn't have dived here. I would have came into this fog wall and just prevented this Iggy from coming to lane and prevent him from getting any more farm or CS. I want to deny him that. Unfortunately, he's level two, right? So he's going to be kitted, but it's okay to trade your HP to punish him in the long game, in the long run, right? Because by getting a level advantage, okay, that was a weird blink, right? He's going to get punished. But look, they're going to get a kill off of this possibly. Oh my God. Nice. Very nice kill. That was a very good play. Solid play by the Fae. I preferred 
personally, if I, I would have went that way to kind of act as like a barrier, but they got the kill. It is what it is. Solid. Nothing wrong with it, right? In, in, in the reality of things. Uh, even better than what I was thinking. I thought that, you know, they maybe beat or something. I just didn't see it. But what I was thinking was stay and keep the lane pushed up. But at the same time, you want your if your minions are attacking his minions, let them keep attacking it. Because those enemy minions are going to do more damage to attack your minions to keep the lane pushed up. And, the, and they're going to die faster. So he, the enemy Iggy can't get that farm, can't get that money, right? But really solid play by the Fae. So right now, right, it's a minute 47. That's my, this, well, past a minute 47. Let's go back and see if we can take a look uh, real quick. Right, my favorite timer is at minute 47. So at a minute 47, what's going on here? It was a freeze. It's after a first wave and second wave is coming to crash, right? Right here, this guy is just taking a red camp. So he's a little bit behind in terms of actual time. Where the Fae wants to like try and get a ward here. But he did this weird rotation and went to right side for some reason. Because he saw the Grux really pushed up. But... It was it was just a weird play on him in general, right? Um, I was able to punish it. Minute forty seven. So like a ward getting placed around this area would would be nice. You know that's probably one thing that I could say. So after you see this type of wave, do a really quick fast push. Look into getting a ward. See what your Iggy is doing. Look at what your dual lane is doing. Take a look at both your lanes. Can I do anything in left lane? Not really. I can't because of course once once this wave is pushed, right? Wave is pushed right now. Now we want to kind of see what's going on. We would see the Iggy's on the right side of that lane. You want to check your lanes real quick, as well as put the ward down in a minute. You know, minute 47 ward didn't go through, but you want to think about putting a ward down to get some vision, find out where the enemy jungler is. And we got to see right here, right? The Iggy's at right side. And you can't really do anything left side because the Murdoch's getting kind of obliterated a little bit, right? Argus has a lot of stun potential, but boom. See, Murdoch's kind of terrified. This guy's coming to twos. Yeah, it was just a very good play. Kai even saw him right here and kept the chase going. But yeah, if I was a fate, I could wrap around here. It would just prevent it. Because he's either going to come this way, that way. And Chimera was there, would have cut him off that way. At, at most Iggy's, most people would come this way anyway. Like, right, why would I be in river, middle of river? That's how they punished him. It was a solid play. It was a good play. Nothing, you know, more except for place a ward, follow, you know, and see if you can get any type of rotation, get any play there. So let's see what happens here. So she got the kill, right? And she got the con of this is I can't. All right. She's pushing this up after getting the kill. She's super pushed up three minutes. Yeah, this is probably the slight little gamble. Remember, right, in my previous video, what, two around uh, 2.30ish, right, is when jungle tends to kind of finish up their clear in uh, in uh, their side. And you got to be careful for setting up for um, river buffs, right? In reality, crunch is very, very slow. Crunch should t technically be at blue buff. So this is a super unfortunate circumstance at this point, right? Um, crunch should be technically at blue buff. Uh, but for some reason, I don't know why, but some junglers, for some reason, like to wait on this river buff for some reason. It's kind of weird, but it does happen in general play, in casual play, right? Like, what's he what's he doing in terms of this entire time? It's, it's so hard to take it because he should have these buffs, but we can't physically tell. It's something I can't really see on, on the Vodder view. But, you know, there's no vision that the Fae has, so... Around around the 2.30 mark, there has to be vision. At some point, there needs to be vision somewhere, right? Um, and we're not seeing vision. So I want to say at least like 2.30 mark, add some vision, right? Like that, that's the, the most that I can, I can really say uh, at this point. This push is, you know, pretty aggressive. And then he comes back. He's coming back for another rotation. Honestly, at this point, he's trying to like cancel it off right here to try and like clear that farm up. Probably to have another wave to not get frozen there. But you got to reset your tempo, right? You got to kill. Now he's gonna come back in the lane. You don't know where the jungler really is. You have to be worried and expect 
that that jungle, right? Or just him, right? He's gonna technically come back with an advantage. Uh, if he no, well, he's not because he went freaking right rotation and missed out on a ton of farm. So no, he's not even gonna come with an advantage. That's his fault. Uh, but then boom, Crunch came in, kind of decimated him, right? Yeah, wasted a blink, unfortunately. Now he has to be very careful. Crunch can really hurt him. Doesn't have as much pressure. Iggy has a lot of strong poke. Uh, got a chemical rod. Can we see gold number here? 343. Yeah, that's good. Uh, a chemical rod. I necessarily have been iffy if I want to go that with Faye. I haven't necessarily tried it myself, but you do want to get Mega Cosm first because Mega Cosm does a really good job stacking with uh, Faye's RMB. Every tick damage, you get to apply a stack of the Mega Cosm's passive. Right, and then once they have bonus HP, man, you get even more damage output, right? So it's very important. All right, so here we're getting our first ward placed. Uh, but like one thing is you don't expect this guy to be in red side anymore. With most junglers starting red, right? Like he's gonna be at his blue side at this point. This ward, I'd be like a little bit weird placing it right now, right? You could throw it for like your dual lane rotation and all that, but I would say keep this ward and put it in the back side. Personally, if he comes red, wraps around, he can come behind you. Here, it's a little bit, a little bit weird of a, of a ward this late in, right? When you, when you really want to take a look at and see how this is why watching your replays and all this is very important. By the way, even I can learn a lot of stuff from this stuff, uh, these things. Because if I go and throw a ward down, I go, oh, wait a second, where's the jungler actually at this point? He already ganked to me from this side before. That means that this side of the jungle should, in theory, be clear right uh, i'd only put this ward down to try and set up for fang but fang is going to take another like minute to come up that this ward's going to be gone by the time that, that that even pops up right so think about the ward placement are you going to gain anything from this ward right now not necessarily right all right so she came back through rmb what's her doing here so two rmb I recommend three max RMB. So only get your RMB to level three in the beginning. That's what you, your first goal is. Your RMB, this thing right here, this skill, level three. Rush that to level three while you get these guys leveled up because it's going to help you clear a lot faster. And you want to clear with your RMB and your Q and try to get your crest stacks with your E poke onto your, onto your uh, laner. Remember that your crest also it has a delay. It's every five seconds. after. Once you do damage to them, it takes five seconds to do more damage to them to then get another stack of four onto your crest. All right, so a little bit of some pressure here. That's totally fine. Just a little bit. I try to get some e-poke damage onto him. He's super close, too. It should be pretty easy to land some e-pokes onto him. I, I start poking him right now. If it was me, I'd be throwing E and Q pokes, like off, off cooldown right now. You know, that's what I would personally would be doing. All right, so right now he did a, a wave, a lane clear. At this point, what I'd be looking at is just the map. What is the map offering me right now? It's very hard to say because I can't block off the map, right? I'm trying my best abil of my ability, but right now, right, you would technically see nobody on the map. What would that promote me to do? Be terrified in reality. I'd be scared, right? This guy's taking Cyan buff. I have no idea where he is. I don't know where this guy is. It's in the four minute mark. He should still be on uh, blue side. There's still timers. I, it, it's just hard for me to not see the timers and try to guess and, and gamble what's going on, unfortunately. But, you know, in a way, you should still expect the jungler to basically be on blue side. Um, so if I was in this case and I finished this wave here, I'd be trying to get vision, right? You don't have flash, so you're gambling. Anytime you do a face check with this Fey right now with no escape against a crunch, you're gambling. Now I would gamble it and I would go and just check this area right here. If I had a ward, I'd put a ward down, down, you know, kind of on this area. I want to, I kind of want to see what's going on here at the same time. Well, due to this, I wouldn't, I'd like to look for a rotation, right? That's what I'd look to, to do. There's nothing here though. So honestly, I'm just trying to get vision. I'm trying to get cooldown. I'm trying to get anything. Probably one of the best things, right? When you think of this is you push this up, you can come here and look for vision. See if you see a crunch anywhere, then clear the next wave. And then, let's see. So let's see what she does. Clears, get some vision. That's fair. Next wave right here. Right here, I'd bias left side. I took vision here. I'll bias left side. I'll clear this wave up really quick. Because I got a very fast clear on him, 
I want to get some E pokes if I can, probably. See if I can land an E. I'm not seeing too many E's come out from our Fae. Our Fae is Eing the turret. At this point, what I want to do, this is still a gamble play, of course, but in, in this type of points, I want to go and take a look at the two camp. I want to get a timer on that two camp. Is it there yet? Is it a, a, you know, a, a minute till it spawns? That gives me an idea of when that crunch may be back. When I know that the two camp is there, I got to get the heck out of here. He's probably on his way. He's probably taking five camp at this moment, right? Maybe red, not, not red at this point, but at least five camp. Get out of there, right? If I had blink, it's worth taking a risk to throw a blink out like that, you know, because you're getting vision for your team, you know, uh, getting a timer. Um, so let's see. So he's kind of just chilling right here. I, I'd be looking at the map. You owe every single wave clear. You want to look at the map, right? What can I do to benefit my team? All right. So got a wave clear. I'm surprised that, you know, Iggy doesn't have much mana anymore. Faye doesn't have much mana too, but throw your E-pokes. Throw your E-pokes. Punish them. Get your stack up on your crest. Punish them. Punish them. More E-poke, please. More E-poke. <clears throat> so this ward here is going to prevent a gank there, right? Like if it's going to come from that side. We still have no vision on that two camp. She got lucky. She kind of had vision. If she was paying attention, she would have saw the crunch and chimera kind of biting earlier you know so depending if she kept watching would that give her more comfort and just dropping down and taking farm or what what i would have personally liked to do is because i know the crunch is there i would honestly try and steal the right side right um iggy can rmb basic attack and get it Faye can throw a basic e or an e basic uh, or you know and be able to take it or i think q actually probably does more damage at this point but I would personally try to look at contesting. I try to always get, if I know the jungler's on that side, I want to go to the side without the jungler. And at the same time, to kind of punish him. Maybe I can get both of them. You know, like. Yes, this is a very good play right here. So Faye knows that he went for river buff. Granted, the one con about doing this is minions are on their way. Every single time when river buff is coming up, it takes about 15 minutes for, for minions to actually get there. Every every uh zero zero and 30 seconds uh a minion wave spawns so it takes about 15 minutes to when you can start to, when they get to the first tier one tower for 15 minutes 15 seconds to get to the first tier one tower so that's something to take into consideration right and here we got the minions giving iggy the vision is he gonna see that though doesn't even look like he even sees them i mean assuming the freaking minions are giving him vision at this point Look, they just walked right past each other. Iggy gets to punish him for free basically at this point because it's his territory. If she attacks, minions might aggro him. Now remember, if he if she gets aggro here, if she jumps down, she loses aggro. All right. So she's going to do a wave clear. That's really good. He already wasted all his wave clear here. So once like, this wave clears, once this wave clears right now, I'd be going very aggro on this Iggy because I'm going to have the advantage. He's going to have an ability. Oh, look, he just uses RMB right now. What am I going to do? At this point, when you have one minion like this left, right? I'm stepping up. I'm stepping up forward. I want to punish this guy, man. He has no mana either. But you do have to be warned about your jungler. You got to understand the jungler, right? So we got no vision on the Fae. I don't know if the ward timer here is correct, if she has a ward up or not. Going a little aggressive here. He's kind of full HP. I want, I'd say be careful. Bias yourself. I don't think she has any vision or an idea that Crunch is here. But you want to respect that. A lot of punishing. Very good. Very good punishing. Oh my god. He's level 6 too. I would have been like, as soon as I'm level 6, I want to ult him and punish him. Oh my god. I'd be so hungry right now. He's no mana. Not level 6. Oh my lord. Fey. Punish him. If you're level 6 before they are and they're in that stance, you got to punish him. Take their flash away. Do whatever. You know, the crunch is on the unknown territory. You don't know where that crunch is. But man, I'm already pushed up that far. I might as well try and go for the kill. Right? Oh my god, the crunch is even going left. Wow. Oh my god, you have level 6, but you don't even go and kill him. That's 250 plus about uh, 125. One ultimate, an RMB and basics would kill him. 
literally throw your RMB out first, then throw your ultimate, or just throw your ultimate because I think that you honestly will get the kill. But throw your RMB out, then your ultimate, because by doing your RMB first, you'll be able to stack that damage out. You want that explosion. I'm disappointed in not seeing this aggressive level 6 play right here. Way, way, way too pass. Unless I'm not seeing something properly. Unless something isn't popping up on here. I'm disappointed by this. I'm sorry, Law. I, I'm disappointed by this. Gotta be more aggro in this in this scenario. This is why I punished low elo so hard when I was doing my zero MMR to to masters. They were they were free. They, they were so scared. They were terrified to do anything. I could just go in there and punish and punish and punish. Look how scared they is. Honestly, look how scared you are too. You know? I would just keep the punishment. You gotta punish them. This game rewards aggressiveness. It really does. Low time to kill, right? All right, what do we got here? So, good. Alchemical Rod. I don't think that's a build into Azure Core. Like, don't build Azure Core first, by the way. Only Alchemical Rod. Don't even f final build it. All right. So, wave pushed. Going for River Buff is pretty solid. Unfortunately, the Crunch. I don't... She has Blink according to this, but I don't know how accurate... Yeah, see, so I'm not even getting cooldowns. Unfortunate. Had to use Ultimate there. But hey, better better uh, to do that than lose your blink, right? All right, so I got the clear. Someone was here, right? It was Kira that was here. Yeah, Kira was there. I guess to steal a river buff. I don't know. If she had vision previously. There needs to be more wards down. I want, you know, especially now, right? Yeah, the gank with, well, she still has blink, so she could be a bit aggressive. But right now, my entire goal, this ward is nice, but still somewhat useless. Because what I want to do, if I was in this scenario, I want to push that wave ASAP to look for a left rotation. Because I'd be looking, remember, every pause you have, you got to look at that map. Any pause you have in the lane, you need to be looking at that map and gathering information. Um, seems like wave was pushed to left side out. So what I want to do mentally me is I want to push the heck out of this wave. So I would set myself up here, throw my Q down, throw my RMB down, push the wave really quick, and then immediately look for a rotation. Look, he's wasting so much mana already. I need to, you need to be poking him honestly, even with that thing. He's just sitting there. Easy pokes this instantly go to left lane, instantly go to left lane. Why are you going back? Oh, uh, what are you going back for? So much time is wasted. What's Crunch going to do? Do you have Blink? No, he used... No, he doesn't have Blink. Dang, okay, so I got close. <clears throat> I d she probably doesn't have ult even, but I still would have went for that rotation to try and get some ults out. Right now, right? She's coming back into lane. No one's there. And a fresh wave like this, instant wave clear. Get into lane. I don't see the Iggy yet. Wave clear, wave clear. Go, 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 go. Go left, go left, go left, go rotation. Take river buff. Go for rotation. Yes, go for the rotation. He sees the Kira. There's no ward down. That Kira's donezo. Oh, took the blink away. Let's see. Decker? Decker already used her jump. Where's the ultimate? Oh, I used it here. That's okay. So the ult's gone there. So using ult instantly is something I see a lot of people, they do. I even do it too. But you should try not to use your ult instantly. Use things that, like Q is an instant damage, right? Use your Q. Your E, instant damage. Because they're either going to blink or they're going to use their dash. Then you want to use their ult. They're going to be just as terrified as you. It's going to take practice. That was unfortunately a scenario that, you know, it's going to happen. But it's something to consider, right? Remember, we're all here to improve, right? Um, and that's something that we just got to consider. All right. Um, in this scenario, they're still pretty high HP. So yeah, I would, I'd look at pushing this wave up really quick and trying to get some information on their jungler. If, I would try and be like, well, let's see if we could take Fangtooth. So I'd be pinging right now, Fangtooth, like maybe we take Fangtooth. 
you know, just to kind of see what's cooking uh, while I'm doing a rotation into mid. And if they want to take Fangtooth, I will happily gamble the Fangtooth, you know, over this wave. You know, even if it's a cannon minion. Fangtooth is a lot. It's worth fights. But you do want to find out where the enemy jungle. As soon as you know the enemy jungler is there, and you don't really have too much vision on the map. Like, we don't know where Kira is. Uh, Decker, we might have an idea of where Decker is. Don't know if the minions are there. Uh, but once you find out that Crunch is there, I assume they're going to have vision of Crunch. I'll turn this. You you know, you got, it's hard to do this in pubs. But for anyone, anytime there's a jungler next to the objective. When it's a jungler, jungle objective. Jungle versus jungle. You should avoid the objective. You should avoid it, especially if it's not low enough, right? They can steal it because it's not worth it. The people inside the pit are going to be somewhat disadvantaged. Everyone has vision on them. They're all going to be stuck in this in, in this area. People inside the pit need to disperse and then reposition and go for a fight or escape, you know? Right now, there's going to be an advantage here where Faye isn't in this fight anymore. And Iggy's moving there. Kira and Decker seem to be moving there, which they are. Look, see, Argus is low HP. Everyone kind of stopped taking it, but they're positioning. This Chimera fight was interesting, but they're actually throwing a lot of damage. Argus CC is really strong. Uh, Chimera engage is really good if he has an ultimate out. Didn't see an ultimate there, but hey, they got they got two kills. It's, it's a very, very good pick. And Faye is going to get nice monstrous damage. And she's free. She's getting She's outputting so much free damage. There's not much I can say, you know. Prioritize what's in front of you as a Fae. If you can grab the ADC, the, the you know that's that's who you want to punish. But it was free, you know, super free. You guys cleaned up. It was just all a play. Not there, nothing bad here. At this point, your jungler is dead. You could look at you know trying to get your team to start Fangtooth, but fuck, just take the reward of taking taking uh taking lane and then take the next wave. Take the next wave. Now your jungler is gonna be up. You could also, when this is frozen, this is something I even need to work on. When this wave came back, you could just leave and the wave will stay frozen in that area. That way you can come back because you want to take Fangtooth. At this point, Fangtooth needs to be a priority. It should be a priority. If your jungler is good and has a good understanding too, you need to be full mana for taking it and in case there's a fight there, right? So sometimes taking this wave, like right now, I'd be instantly backing as Fey. She's going for tower hits. This is the problem. The, the the other one is iffy, right? When I said freeze it there, that one's like 50-50. This one right here, though, I would not even bother hitting turret. Turret's not worth it. Go, reset, get your mana back, reset your tempo, try to see if you can get a Fangtooth here. You know, that's why I'd be spamming. Fangtooth, Fangtooth, Fangtooth. A little bit slow in terms of the back, but that's fine. Right now, I'd be like, fang tooth, fang tooth, fang tooth, fang tooth. Okay, Chimera did a back. He just did one. He just did a five camp. Or he did a four camp and left. That was a little bit weird. Um, All right. So right now, I mean, it's hard. Once again, I can't see cooldowns. Clear wave rotation. This next wave coming up here. I want to clear it ASAP. Probably throw a ward down here in case for the crunch. This ward placement, in my opinion, is a little bit iffy because you wanna get you wanna see them before they get there, kind of thing. They're not warding properly in the left lane. If you have blink, it's a gamble. Sometimes even if I don't feel comfortable, I do a full wrap around here and take you know river buffs. But that ward right there, I'd still like to place it here instead of that area, right? That is only gonna give me vision of river buff. This ward here is going to give me a location here, right? I can see him before he comes. And if, and you know, if he comes the long way, he can wrap around kind of all the way to the back of this portal. It's just a bit, I don't know. I don't personally like that ward. I throw it sometimes, but it's, I like to call it a lazy ward. It's a ward when I'm like overconfident and I just care about the river buff. Like, I, and I'm far ahead. Boom. Faye got a very nice rotation here. I wouldn't have wasted an ultimate there. They are so far on your side. What I would have done personally is come here, throw a Q to prevent the movement or on it, or just focus the Decker. I would just focus staying here and zoning them out because if they blink, I want to catch them off, right? This ult is a little bit wasted. It wasn't necessary. 
And now look, Faye is so far behind where these crunch where the crunch was. Otherwise, where she came in, she could have been like right here. I'd be sitting here. I'd be biasing to the right side movement right now. <clears throat> Decker's here. What I would look into doing is coming to this wall and throwing a Q down. The all came in, but he did a ton of damage. You do get the pull here, but this is like almost if you just threw a Q here. You wouldn't have had to use that ult. You would have killed the Decker and had all the space down here to be able to see this Kira and then throw your ult at on the Kira if she's close to escaping. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just a little bit of a wasted ult that you could have just got here. Maybe you're trying to save the HP on the Murdoch. Uh you know, sure. But like now just displaced. I would box this crunch. Like, you know, he got the escape. You had no ultimate or anything. It's still a good trade. It's just something that, you know, I would have saved that ult personally. I would have had all that time to throw my ease on Kira. I would have had all that time to throw my ease on Kira, right? To get her without wasting my ultimate. Because I can use my ultimate later. Right now, I'd be, I'd, be, I'd be close to starting Fang. I know Kai is up here, but I'd be telling my team to start Fang. I will risk it. This crunch just seems a little terrified. He's full HP. But, like, you guys are pretty dominant. I, I would be like, let's start Fang too. Granted, Chimera is a little bit iffy. He's not very objective orientated, right? Right? It's not up. Yeah, it's not up. It's up, I mean. Um, so, got the wave clear. Not much to do. You can try and get two camp. Like, he's not getting vision on that two camp. That two camp tells you where Crunch is going to be, right? It's very important. You get the timer on the jungle camp. So, like, think about that. When you put your ward down, I like to say when I put my ward down, I want to look for two camp, below two camp just a bit, or throw it behind me. That's usually the three places I like to put my wards down, right? And then when you want objective control is when you get a little bit, you know, you can get a little bit aggressive and be a little bit funky with it. Um, all right. So a good clear wave. Pretty aggressive jumping down into the river buff because you have no area, no idea if the crunch is coming here. But she's dominant. Good. See, they're taking Fangtooth without the Chimera. <laughs> so they they did the Fangtooth like I wanted them to do, but a lot later. Now, if I was the Fae, I would be rotating a little bit like because we saw the Decker there. I'd be rotating long way left. See if I could get, but it kind of depends. My mana's a little bit low. Mana's a little bit low. That's fair. Uh, don't know if ultimate is there. Your crest is up. Uh, getting a reset right now would be fine. I'd get a reset. If I see my crest up, i get a reset. <clears throat> Granted, remember, the reset would be at Fang. Like, I would have took Fang and looked at a reset. It wouldn't be here at lane when I saw that. There, I would have took the farm. All right, another lane push, and then I'd get a reset. I know there's some stuff going on there, but reset. No, you're not going to profit anything off of there. Oh, but that's kind of unfortunate. You had a lot of vision there, but you didn't look at getting tower. Tower gold. Now you, you could have got 300 extra gold. You only got 100. You get 300 gold that is split up by each person that's in the tower radius. You get 100 guaranteed gold per person. Then 300 gold that is splits up based on how many people are next to tower. So missed out on 300 gold. So let's take a look at the build here. This is not a bad build at all. Um, what I would look at personally from this point on, I would look at getting like, you got your alchemical rod. You got, what is this building into? Time warp? What built into that? That's a cooldown. Um, tainted scepter. I like this build overall. You know, I haven't tried the alchemical rod, but I think it's a lot stronger now with the new stack update. That's pretty good. Oh, they got mini prime. That's okay. I'd say give it to them. That's that's no issue. Just keep farming lane, push it. After this lane, I don't know what's going on here. Immediately go for rotation left. Oh, what the heck? Why are you going here? Even for river buff, I'd still ignore this side. You don't know what this guy is doing. They just took mini prime. You still have no, you know, I don't know if they had 
clear vision. He's low, but you still don't know what's cooking. You don't know where the grux. You don't know anything. You know, it's just tough to gamble with the map because we can't see it. But I would go left immediately. Go for a left rotation. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, she got out of it. Now she lost this one due to the Kira. Oh, that Kira is so low, though. She even threw the E thinking she was going to get it. Right now, your level, you could, you could honestly ult and probably kill him. I would, I would, I'd be pretty aggressive. I'd throw some E's on there. It's just passive. I see a lot of this whenever I watch low ELO. Just too passive. You're too passive in lane. Be more aggressive in lane. We didn't even get a left rotation. Why did we not get a left rotation? They're pushed up this entire time. We didn't get a left rotation. All right, there. Cleared wave. Saw that it's going to take a while. Seeing some things cook over here. Good. Left rotation. Oh, my God. He uses escape. Yeah, good. I instantly would have looked at ulting that. Oh, my Lord. Very good. Because what? It was a Ch Chimera was low before. Oh, maybe could have been weighted. That was just a very quick uh, 4x speed right there. Could have, you know, used it here. Because he uses slash, right? Uh, probably could have, if he used another RMB or his ultimate to escape, you could have punished him again. And then you use your ult. Because, you, you know, you were his body block. He had to get past you or go the other way and die to the other teammates. Yeah, he's a very solid, solid team fight. Very good rotation by the enemy team. Nothing better here. Yep. Take left farm. Push it up. There's nothing on the map. Gold buff is coming up. What the heck was that? That was a mistake. Clear this out. Take tower. Your ADC is there. Don't take gold buff because that'd be toxic. I would take it if ADC wasn't there though. Uh, good. Rotation into mid. Go and push mid up. You see the next uh, group is coming. Clear that up. You don't have ult. You don't have any too much boxing. I'd still box him. He's just so aggressive. Oh my god. I'd box him. I just throw my E and Q on him before I left to be honest with you. It's good to get like, you know, you're kind of just backing off to reset your tempo. That way you can get ahead faster. Yeah, this is a bad idea in my opinion. Don't build Astral Catalyst. Build, you need to worry about the now. Think about it that way. I need to worry about the now. When you build Astral Catalyst, it's kind of like you're wasting gold on something that isn't going to help you now. You're going to waste it on something that's going to help you later. You see what I'm saying? Um, so. Astro Catalyst, don't build Astro Catalyst. It's a garbage item. It's not worth it. You could be building Caustica that gives you more pen, that gives you more mana to throw rotations, that allows you to spam more abilities. Now, current, in the current, right? You could be building health. I'm not going to say this is good, but combustion, right? Combustion, uh, that's going to give you damage instantly. You could also be building um, Oblivion Crown. That's going to give you damage instantly. Same with... Uh, um, what is it? I mean, literally every other item just builds, gives you, gives you everything instantly. That's a reward for later, a reward for the future. You don't really need to lower your cooldowns anymore. You already got, you already got, you make a cost at 25, you know, not 25%, but close enough, 20-ish percent, 25-ish percent um, ability haste. And on top of your stasis, that's going to apply more, right? I think, uh, I think stasis gives 10 ability haste. So like it's it's just it's not it's not it's not worth it. It's not worth building Astro Catalyst. You're you're wasting a good item slot. You really are. It's a more of a toxic thing. I'm just dominating them so much, you know, that I want to ult more. Uh clear this wave. I'd be going so aggro. You got a level ahead of him. Poke him, poke him, poke him. Oh, see look how much damage you did. Unfortunate, you got the Akira. You kind of missed a few things. I wouldn't have thrown really an ult instantly. I would have kept like poking with E, poke with a Q. Your RMB was a little bit way too early. Let's see if I can move forward. Uh... So right now, right, this tower is focusing. I'd be throwing my E's right now. Throw E, throw E. Okay, the RMB is a little bit weird. I see your goal, the RMB and then ult. But it was just a, like, it was kind of weird. He's backing up and you kind of threw it ahead of him, like away from where he was going. Um, of course, the Kira coming there definitely shafted you, though. That was definitely the killer was that Kira. You know, you would have killed him if it wasn't for Kira. But it was just like, eh, throw some E's out. 
you have a lot of time. What's he gonna do? A blink? Good. Now you got rid of his blink, right? Like throw some ease out. Let him let him box a little bit. You know, then maybe your ult could have been saved for when Kira came. Can I see if Kira? Yeah, look at that. Kira doesn't even have crest yet, so you would have been able to ult with a Kira there. Um, maybe even a double kill. But like it was a little bit too early. I was like, eh, poke it a bit, fight a little bit, get a little taste, test the you know environment. Alright. I just Chimera not having good neutral objective control. He's not doing a good job with that. Alright. I know this is gonna be a long video already. This is already 45 minutes. Oh god, I didn't see what happened there. I didn't really have to because it was just a tower. Good poking. Right now, it's all about objectives and how can I push lanes to get to prime and primal. That's what my goal would be. Do whatever. That was close. Oh, man. Way over chased. That was just way over chased. That stasis is a little bit weird, too. That was a little trolly. That was just a heavy over chase. Probably a little cocky. <laughs> Your entire goal after 20 minutes, listen, please, every single person, 20 minutes is prime and primal. That's it. It does it. Do whatever you can to benefit and make sure you will be there. Pay attention to the enemy jungler and the te enemy team and see if they're going to set up or go with the prime or primal. That's just what the goal of the game is. You need those objectives to end the game. It's too easy to clear waves when they go to core and all that stuff, right? You need prime and you need uh, and primal. You need to get one of those. You need to get those objectives. That's it. That's it. You need to get them. They they're just they're W king and dying. If this was a high elo team, they lost the game. Blue team dominating. Honestly, they've been dominating. Just lost the game. If this was a high elo team, they would be getting prime right now. They would be getting prime. They'd be on prime right now. They saw the Murdoch taking left. They'd be getting prime. It'd be game over right now. Not necessarily game over, truly, but it'd be a, they're gonna they're gonna get punished severely because of that. All right, let's go back to the Fey. Let's see what the Fey is building. Caustica fourth item. Like I said, Caustica third item, in my opinion, is not bad. You can look at Wraith Leggings. Uh, there you go. That was an item I forgot. Wraith Leggings, very nice item on Fey. It, it it secures damage. It gives you pen. It's very monstrous magic power. It gives you movement speed. Flawless item. I would go Mega Cosm, Wraith Leggings, Caustica. And then I'd look into Oblivion Crown or Tainted Scepter. Situational. Even Caustica might be situational depending on how if you're dominating them. If you're not being dominated, then you know you can you can push back caustica because if you're good fey management you if you need tainted you get freaking tainted man like it's important to get items like that if your team's not building them to where you can push caustica back up all right so we gotta push here i want to take a look back all right wave is being pushed here she sees on the map i see her that's how she knew to go there right side she sees there's a fight going on right Yep, clear that. She sees something's going on there. Good, good. Good rotation. I'd be following this uh, as well, but oh, he's really fed. Oh, the blink. This is a little risky. Doesn't know if the blink or anything. Yeah, walk towards Iggy. This is good. I don't know if she has ult. She does. Nice. That was a good one. Oh, okay. Now she's going to die. It was just unfortunate. Grux came back. Couldn't get the kill. Missing a lot of ease. Got to practice seeing those E's, just skills in general. <coughs> They're taking prime. Bad, bad. See, our chimera is a bad objective control. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Chimera is a triple. Wow. That was just low elo playing bad, and they were able to profit off of it. Wow.
All right. So not even primal Fang. So yeah, right now, Faye, if I were you, push up a wave, then stay with your team. She's kind of went back. Why do you go back? You were basically full on everything. What did you buy? I saw a codec, but oh my god, don't do that. You just built a Zoro core. Don't do that. Never build a Zoro core all the way. You already get the benefits from a Zoro core. Can I see it here? I can't. You already get the benefits that it's meant to give you. It's very minimal after that. It really is. All right. Right now, it's going to be like to rotate, like clear lane, try to push up lane and, and catch people up with teams. Like death bowling is what teammates need to do now. Take objectives, push a lane, look at getting someone with your team. You know, your ultimate's really strong. Who's there to stop your ultimate? These are the only two people that can get out of your ultimate in reality. And they're, they're this is the one that's fed, but still easily punishable with the team. Just need more group fights. Uh, you did a weird rotation to right. I don't know what this rotation was. I want to stay next to your dual lane. How's your dual lane doing in terms of score? You're doing really good. Like you want to stay with the people that are really good. Why are you going to here? Nothing. You don't. You don't gain anything really off of this. Uh, it would have been better for you to rotate left. I would say to not even worry about what's going on here. Off lane literally is an island. To be completely honest with you. You only really pressure off lane for prime objective. Prime's not going to be there for a minute. Look, you lost left lane. You guys could have got a kill left lane. I don't know why you went right. They're getting punished here. Oh my god. All right, let's see what you're going to do now. You're on your way. Yeah, wait, because your wave clear helps too if they decide on pushing. You're chasing. You're chasing so hard right now. You need to be careful for this. I told you, big objectives. You die now, you're going to cause an issue for a prime setup. Oh, you're pushing so hard. Oh, my God. That's not worth it. It's not worth it. Your Iggy is useless. Your Iggy is nothing. He's one and he's he, No offense. No offense to Iggy, but he's trash. Like, Don't worry about him. Why did he do that? You're only going to win that because your team... Yeah, I mean... All due respect, you won that because your team is better. That's it. That was won because the team was better. So right now, it'd be a full reset for your team. Your team pushed up, right? I'm worried about them because this is something a lot of people do is they'll push up to an inhib and all that stuff. But remember, everyone's low on HP or whatnot. If these guys decide to chase and they have good chase control, they have the advantage to kind of cut you off a little bit, right? So you got to be careful for that, right? It's something that Hyelo messes up on a lot too. Overstaying after getting kills for trying to get inhibs and whatnot. Right now, don't know what's going on with the Chimera, like in the Kira, but right now, these guys are coming with all full HP. You guys are a little bit low. If you guys were any lower to where you can't fight and you have to back, all these guys would just come and take free Primal. It's just it's just that that's it though. There you guys are just a better team. That's it. You guys just are the better team. At this point, there's not much I can necessarily VOD review. Like in reality. Just don't chase. I even even it's a decker. I mean, okay, chase, but I don't know, just go take the objective and end the game. Take the objective, take the next objective. Like you wasted a lot of time there if this was a higher level game. Yeah, take that and then instantly I uh, spam spam prime. I don't know why these guys Oh, okay, yeah, they were low on mana, so it's understandable. It's still kind of 30 minutes. Yeah, low, low death timers. That's going to change the next update, I think. Five seconds added to the death timers. Oh, my God. Oh, see, they took Prime off of that. <laughs> kind of one of the one of the problems, right? With uh, When you do take an objective and they're coming back, you know, you do a reset, they're going to be on the next objective. That's something to keep in your mind. Anytime you're not on an objective, they could be doing the objective. Remember that. So the one thing here, right? Primal last. So Prime 
lasts longer than primal by default, especially when you have the fang, the extra fang tooth. Uh, sorry, the extra fang tooth buff. Uh, the first fang tooth gives you extra jungle time buff. Jungle buffs timer is increased. Um, but uh, primal is stronger than prime because it's true damage. So you get to go and basically get you get to eat through their primal resistant uh prime resist. I hate these names. Devs, fix your name, please. All right, you need to group up though. I would say just group up. Oh, this Decker is it, I'd be watching this map right now and see that Decker is over there. Oh my god, I'd be so aggressive. I'd be telling my team attack 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 right now, to be honest with you. Oh my god, and I see this, I'd be going attack 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 attack. And that's what's happening. Boom, they're dead. Yeah, your entire goal still should be the prio, the damage dealer, which is going to be the Kira. That's who your fan focus is. That they assassinate, the, you know, they're squishy. Zone out people. That's it. You guys won the game off of that, didn't you? Oh, they did a rotation. Did Grux die? Wow, Grux died here. Grux was your gap, I assume. Yeah, he was your gap. <laughs> Dang, Decker got the push all the way there, too. Yeah, push the wave up is really good. Push that wave up. You got so many people dead. Just keep pushing the wave. So now you got no prime buff or primal buff. Well, prime buff is still up for people that might have it. That's a good reset. Group up with your team. What are you full build? Did you get a tonic? Make sure you get your tonic. 750. Last item. And remember, if, if you get to a point like this where you decide on building a Zuru core for this, sell this item and get something better. Remember, you want to get something now that's just going to provide a ton of burst, maybe give you survivability. Let's say their crunch is really strong. You just need a little bit of armor. Sell that and go, uh, go. Um, I forgot what it's called. Something guard. It's a blue item. I forgot it was called. Gives you armor stacks. Helps more with assassins. Your team just needs to group up though. And this is an issue that I see with low eel. They don't they just don't know how to group up properly. It happens in freaking high elo too. Nice. I play. Yep, just push up. I don't know your cooldowns, honestly. Not gonna lie to you, which kind of sucks. Anytime you can try to take their jungler, but it's so much into late game now, I don't think it matters. Ah, it's level 15. I mean Anytime you're in jungle, take the enemy's jungler. Jungle, it's it's worth it. Punish him. Oh my god, that Chimera kind of inted. Y'all can clean up though, because Murdoch's really strong. And you got Argus. He's, he plays really well. I saw him play pretty well. You kind of left your Argus there. I, I'd be right here, Faye. I'd be right here with, with your Argus and uh, Murdoch. What are you doing here? This is a little bit weird. This isn't your job. You don't worry about this. You need to be like stay sitting with your ADC providing like some peel too. Oh my lord. Some damage there. You got an RMB with the ultimate. That ult's gonna save the day. Murdoch, see? You were <clears throat> you didn't peel your Murdoch at all. Oh my god, you just got lucky, you stole it. Yeah, you guys oh my god, you guys got wiped. They didn't beat. They didn't win. The enemy team didn't win off of this. You had to. You had to provide peel to your carry. You go into kind of support number two, where your your prio at that point was stay with the carry in a way, and provide a bit of peel. I know you can zone out, but you guys didn't have a jungler. You were missing somebody. You can't do that. When when you're missing a man down, you kind of turn more into a support in, instead of a playmaker. You know? You can still playmake as the support too. They don't have a way to all cancel your ultimate. You can still get three of them in your ult, especially in that corner. All right, T. Oh, man. Crook's getting caught out. Oh, you got yeah. Uh, Yeah, just oh lord. Yeah, you guys just got lucky off that fight. It's just a skill gap right here, and you got a little bit of pressure. I don't know what you did right there with the Kira.
You have your ult up, right? Oh my lord. That Argus saved both of y'all. That Decker is just a troll. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You guys won that off a of luck. Like just 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 everything just getting lucky. Nothing was skill match there or anything like it was it was a pure luck thing. You were really highly aggressive. Need to peel away and away from your Murdoch and apply a lot of pressure. Your Q and all that, especially late game, you're going to do a lot of damage. Use your E poke. It's very far range. It's just that you played that so aggressively when all you saw was a support. Granted, like I said, it's tough for me to get the perfect vision just due to, you know, how, how vision is in, in, in the thingy. But then what? You guys just take buffs and end. Yeah. You gotta just take <clears throat> prime. No, you're you're overall there's not much overall that I can say. It's probably just gonna be an end. Oh man, they came in. Oh they got you. Who got it? Murdoch got it. So they y'all just Y'all won just off of the prime buff and just melted that Kira. Yeah, that was it. So off of that, you pushed right new in. Or the Kai did it. Or it was a surrender. Yeah, yeah, there it is. GG's. I mean, so overall, not bad play. You you position yourself relatively well. Do a lot of good plays. It's it's the small things that all add up together that I'm seeing. Overextending a lot. So like I know I didn't really do too much on the notepad. So I'm saying off of this. Um I said a lot of stuff over on the video that I just couldn't necessarily remember too much. I uh, try to ping a lot and force your team to take objectives more. You know, it's going to be tough, but solely if you just dominate your lane simply and then go and do rotations to the other lane, that game could have been done so much sooner. You could have been 100 kills in. Like, uh, how much kills did you have? You were high kills. 14 kills with 11 assists. This could be double. Honestly, it was so free in terms of Seeing how what you could have done in left lane, in my opinion. Um, so just more rotations. You're missing a lot on the rotations. You're also missing a lot on poking. You could have punished that. They that Iggy had the same level of amount of punishment he could have done to you. I just want you to understand that that Iggy could have killed you the same amount of times that you could have killed him. It was just because both of you were even in terms of your passiveness. So like, as much as you played well in lane, it's because. The Iggy wasn't playing well in lane. You could have, if I was there, if I was the Iggy, you would have been, you know, it would have been, it would have been free low in a way because you were playing up, but you weren't poking or applying pressure to prevent me from wanting to damage you. It was just that Iggy was very weak. He was, he was very weak himself, his mental. So that's something that I just kind of want to say is your laning phase was all right. Just can be, it needs to be upped. And that's a, that's the next level you're going to have to get over. Uh, CS was fine. You did really good. Punish, though. You're not punishing. Punishing at this point will put you at another level. Punish is going to put you easily diamond, plat diamond, according to Ometa City levels. You can easily hit that point. Literally, punish. I'm not seeing you punish. You should have been punishing a lot more. You know, it's a lot of limit testing. You've got to test yourself, limit yourself, but you, you can cook. And I think, I think that's what I just, that's what you missed out on is just punishing. You, you were missing a lot on the punishing and the rotations. Then when you got fights that were good, you didn't reset your tempo, leave. You just kind of kept chasing, and it kind of caused a lot of inting going on.
But other than that, not bad. B- better than average than I'd see, I would assume, on a goal player. But punishing will put you in platinum, diamond, elo in like two seconds. Like, like I'm telling you. Let me know how that goes. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this video. I know it's a long video, but this is something. Watching the recordings and watching what's going on is so important. It, it really is. Even I'm learning from these videos and going, dang, that's really good. Like I can think, of, oh, I should think of that. I should think of the positioning of that jungler. I should take a look at that. Oh, that's where I should put a ward down for those situations. You don't see it. You know, this is giving you another another dimension of the game uh, to improve yourself. And I'm excited to try and do a lot more VODs um, as well. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the video. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this, if this is too long, if I suck at what I'm doing, if I need to, you know, do something more. Let me know. This is, you know, this isn't my first VOD review, but I haven't done them. So I my learning and all this stuff. I'm not, I don't say I'm a good teacher either. So Oh, hey, we're here to learn. We're here to have fun. We're here to gain some knowledge and experience and play some predecessor. But take it easy. Have a good one. Good luck in your games. I'll catch you later. Peace.